Okay, I've got five o'clock. I call this special call meeting to order. January 30th, 2024, five o'clock. Bow your heads for prayer, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together for we make decisions for a better tomorrow for the city of Hartford and the citizens of Ohio County. Please forgive us of our many sins. Please be with us as struggling times, sorrow times. Please be with all of us and and just forgive us of them sins and please keep our families safe and healthy. We love you. Amen. 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 Derek is not here today, so we'll move on down to financial reports. After reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept December 2023's financial reports. I make a motion to accept December 2023 financial reports. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, action and owed business. Christy, care to come up? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do the minutes. Did I, did I not do the minutes? You didn't. You went okay. straight to financial. I'm sorry. It's my bad. Um, uh, do I have a motion to accept the special called meeting December 8th? Approved. I make a motion to approve them. I have a first. Second. I have a second by Tony. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like side. Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> sorry about that. Okay. All right, Chris. This is action in old business. Uh, you want me to start with the lagoon project? Or? Uh, yes, go on and start with that one. And then the other one. No, I want you to start with the um, country club. Okay. Okay, uh, with the country club, we had ordered a booster pump here almost two years ago. Yeah. And we had just received it last month. Uh, we uh, contacted Bobby Lutzer and got a uh, price on getting it installed. Where it's at, it's in a difficult place to put it because it's so close to Bob Black's property line. We'll have to extend the water line out a little bit to get on the country club side more. So they were a, bit, a little bit of a cost there. Then that's also them fully installing <coughs> it and putting concrete pad and fixing the road to it and everything. Uh, they install the pump itself and do do all the materials, labor, valves, and also install one size, uh, normal size fire hydrant. That way, there's more fire protection for all the, for the golf course or the residents in the area and the rick houses. But the price to get it installed is fifty thousand seven hundred eighty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. And on top of that, we have another quote from Taylor's Electric, and this is for the electrical portion of the booster pump. This includes installing all the, the electrical to it, wiring it up, programming it, and uh, a transfer switch if we ever get a uh, generator eventually. That way, if uh, power goes out, everybody still has water pressure. And that quote is $26,326.20. Are the residents out there paying anything for this? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the residents, uh, I mean, they're paying their water bills. I so, mean, I pay mine too. Yeah. So, I guess. I like that on my house. And I understand, I understand your concerns behind it. How much did the county provide for us when we when we first started this project? They they've already twenty four. So twenty four thousand. But have they have they contributed that yet? Okay. But I know that they the county has contributed to that, and I will say that the 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 animal shelter has. Non going issues with water pressure to make sure they feed their dog, water their dogs, I should say. Um. 
It's at, uh, the, actually, the Country Club Road is the highest elevation in Hartford. So at the level it's at, it, it doesn't have sufficient water by, by gravity flow. So it needs to have the booster pump to supply. The and that's one of these projects that I feel like it, it needs to be done. If not, we'll still have issues with this. And I feel like that they could go to county water. All them residents have that mm -hmm. in them to go to county water if they wanted to. How many households are affected by this? I uh, see. Uh, There's about 15 meters all together. And that's, and that's not including the park either. Yeah. And see, that a lot of that pressure comes from the park too. Um, does anybody else have any questions on this? So all that out there is city water? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that as far as our yeah, that's far as we go. That's the farthest point that we yes. go in the city. Yes, that direction it is. But we've only uh, we also too with it adding a, a second. That, this would be the second fire hydrant we would have on this road. So we would have one at each end also. But I think it would be very beneficial for fire protection and to keep the chlorine and keep the water lines flush more. There's a small fire hydrant right up from Black's there. Yes. Well, there's one right there by the yes. Rick houses. In, in the bushes. Right? Yeah. It, it's just a blow off. It's just the the bleed the, the bleed the system there. Oh, okay. That line there, that's actually not considered big enough to be fire protection. So the Rick houses are included in this. Do I have a motion to accept? I make the motion we accept. Yep. And and uh, with with that motion, uh, I request to see if we can take that out of occupational tax. If everybody's okay with that, I have a first and second. Uh, Mary Bell, or no, I'm sorry, uh, Jerry did. You call me that again? I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lucky you, uh, David Coleman did. Yeah. I have a first and second to approve this project for the booster station. <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like side, motion carries. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chris. I'll, I'll be hollering back at you in a little bit. Okay. And this comes out of occupation tax? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what is this? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about the police report because um, Chief York had a, his mother's in the hospital, so he said he sends his condolences there for not being here, but he'll be here next month. And he's he's doing good things for us. Um, Lisa, do you want to explain the financial disclosure? Yeah, the first of every year, it asks for all officers is part of our officer employee ethics and you all have done this before it's and it's not really asking for numbers it's your sources of your personal income it ensures the city is not entering into um, obligations with like say your personal business or something like that so we have to have this on file by March 1st so it's in your packet it's called officer employee ethics so as long as I have that back by March 1st we're good in our packet? Yes. yes it is. Next to the last page. Um, what exactly are you looking like? We have full time jobs, you need this one there? Or? Yeah, I only love it. Like, let's say um, you're Mary Bell and you're retired and you have Social Security income and maybe you have. Um, 
Kentucky Cotton at income, or what, if that was your income, then you would list that on um, like source of income number five. Uh, if you had a business, you'd put that on number six. Um, and I, again, it's like, for example, if you were if Jordan over three that is doing the bed on the cemetery, happen to be your son, something like that. That way, they've got as far as ethics that we're okay. doing what the city should do. All right, thank you. Okay, sorry. Um, it's that time of the year again. We we got to set our uh, board members. I've got four different boards to go through, and I'm going to ask for a motion to approve these people on each board. So I'll start with the first one, and I'll need a motion to accept these uh, board members. The first one is Planning and Zoning Board, Karen Ward for a four-year term, Wilda Puckett for a four-year term, and that'll end January 2028. I'll need a motion to accept these board members. I make a motion to accept these two for Planning and Zoning. Second. Have a first and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like side. Motion carries. The second one is the Code Enforcement Board. I have Paul Stratton for a one-year term and Janet Coulter for a three-year term. Who? Janet Coulter. Okay. This is for what? Code Enforcement. Retired teacher at Wayland. Huh? Retired teacher. Retired Wayland. teacher from Wayland Elementary there. Are these people just folks that put their name in the hat for these positions? No, I, they've they've already held the position. They've okay. held them before and they've accepted. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay. Do I have a motion? I make a motion to accept. I second. First and second. I Jury and Stacia. All, right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like size. <coughs> The third one is the Planning and Zoning Board Adjustments. Robert Ayers for four-year term. Billy Wood, four-year term. Christy York for a four-year term. And I'll need a motion to accept those for the Planning and Zoning Board Adjustments. I'll make the a motion to accept. Robert Ayers. Billy Wood and Christy York. Jerry made a motion. I'll second. I'm sorry. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. Motion carries. The fourth one is ethics board. Um, first one is Jerry Bevel for a four-year term. Judy Moore for a four-year term. Keith Bennett for a four-year term. And I'll ask for a motion to accept them board members for the ethics board. I make a motion to accept. I have a first. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like so. Thank you. All right. So this is, uh, now we're down to the community coordinator contract. Uh, this is something that we've been asked to do through the KLC. And um, basically it, it, it's a sign signed contract of labor for the code enforcement visit or um, lost community okay community coordinator I'm sorry and this is something that's requested every year so no nothing has changed in that either so And I'll ask so for we need a motion to continue our contract labor for that position. Yes, I make a motion to continue our contract labor for community coordinator position. I have a first, second by Jerry. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Polls like so. Motion carries. On that same topic, why she's here, um, you all have y'all's copy of dates that she's gave you. And I guess the acknowledgement of it, 
if everybody's in favor for these dates, spring break, April 1st through the 5th, October Fest, 18th and 19th of October, summer block party, June 21st through 22nd, and Christmas on the Square, December the 14th. I just need the acknowledgement of that so we can secure those dates. I think it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meredith, you, you got anything you want to say? Well, thank you for being promote promoting Hartford and all that yes. you've done, and and thanks for moving in the right direction. I think. Thank you. She's she's one of those very that's so. behind the scenes, but doing a very wonderful job, and I can't commend so. you enough. So, thank you. Thank you. All right, all right, Chris, you're back up. Uh, see, uh, a while back we had gotten in trouble with the state for, as far as their backwards lagoons down here. They hadn't been neglected for the last 20 years or so and had been building up full of sludge and all the drain valves was broke. And we started going, we, we actually presented it to you all about getting it repaired. Uh, we got a quote from Ludwell's at the time and I, what was in crisis about? Was it 300 and 331. 331. $331,000 to clean and repair these lagoons. Uh, as of November, they, they are fully cleaned out, repaired, all the valves are done, and the job ended up coming in a lot cheaper than what was originally quoted. It came in to 129000 so they done a pretty good job, and, and if y'all remember that meeting, we was basing that on them on the lines being either a, a six or an eight inch. We wasn't for sure by the plant. Yeah, he ended up being six inch line, and then the job actually didn't take as long as they thought. Yeah. So, so it, it come in a lot. So that got us in the clear of taking care of that, and no more tickets. So, um, yeah. Does anybody have any questions on that? Is this coming in of occupational I, tax also? I, I would, yeah, I would recommend that. Do we need a motion? I need a motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve To this pay this bill. Tax. The first and second. You yeah. have a question. So this, we're, we're paying them 129 That's what it, all right, so what about the remainder of the funds that we put on that bid? Will just it'll go out? back into the, it'll go back into the general account so it won't go into yeah it will yeah okay all right yeah oh uh who done first mary bell did you do the first on yes first and second by david all in favor say aye aye pulls like side much carries thank you chris all right all over the place that's what you get for the holidays Oh, that's something that's been lost my sheet. I didn't lost my sheet. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Okay, the next one is uh, for this auto diesel station. Uh, this is for our garbage truck. Is this the new one? No, this this is the oh this is the older one. Oh, okay. Um, we've found it very beneficial to run in both trucks keep down the time and and it's been pretty pretty good so is there any questions on that one and the total is thirteen thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars um, apparently it was a pretty big job so with that being said I'll ask for a motion to accept I make a motion we accept the and I guess second. and I guess uh, same thing on occupational yes okay I have a first and second 
It's Jerry first, Maryville second. Second. I heard you first. Okay. Um, okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Polls like side. Motion carries. Okay. Um, that's all that I have. And I guess this is for informational that we need to focus on. Um, we're getting to that time where we need to start thinking of projects that we need to go forward on our ARPA funds. So if you all have any recommendations, um, either get with me, email me, or whatever. Um, I know that Jeff's worked on some projects for Ellis Park. Uh, with that being said, I think March 15th, Jeff, is the... Um, what else can be included in these articles? So that's at least a question. I know, I know a few of the projects. Um, basically... You know, when I first got on the city council, I made the motion to uh, give the Boys and Girls Club 10000 A lot of these projects can be used to something like that, but you can use them on water lines, police cars, equipment. Um, it's just a broad band of what you can use them for, playground equipment. Yeah, and so we have took some out for Bell Engineering, and the Boys and Girls Club. So we haven't used a whole lot of that funds yet, but the deadline is, is coming up pretty soon, so and I don't want to give this money back. So no. I'm highly recommending that we work on this within the next few months to get a game plan together. And how much? What are we looking at? As far as the balance or how much? Dollar amount, do we have an idea what we're... Yeah, it's, it's around 652. Around what? 652,000. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we definitely need to get that money back. Needs to be committed by December 31st, and it needs to be committed by December the 31st. So, um, I tell you what, thing one thing that I am working on. There's a couple things that I am working on for sure. Uh, Jeff, me, and you've talked about a few things in itself. Um, but one of the things that I would like to see is Chris is going to work on some water projects. And that is something that we really need to focus on as well as some of these projects. So he's going to get us a list of roads that he, he knows that's in dire need. And um, I think that's important. Could, so could this money not be used for what's going on out at Country Club Road? If it's a water issue? I don't think it can go on repair-wise. I think it's more lines of, and I might be wrong on that. But I think it. I think it's more of uh, <clears throat> new installs. Yeah, new installs and repairs, or not repairs, but like purchase of new projects. New projects. Okay. Yeah, we've got a playground equipment. So we've got that one set, and and we're waiting on the curbing to put the mulch down. It's taken forever to get. And then I know Jeff's worked on the committee that he's worked on, and you can explain that when we go to the round table discussion um, and I know that March 15th is the end of the land and water grants so if there's any projects and it don't have to be playground equipment we can do sidewalk projects we can do um, we can do anything to apply that grant for so if there's anything that you all anything that y'all think of just let us know and and we'll try to get a project together for well, these grants. Any, I mean, are we any? still, we're still holding, waiting on the May grant, yeah, right, uh, to see what is paid for. I made contact through email with them mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was 1st of January whenever I reached out, because we hadn't heard anything for several months. And uh, the lady just emailed me back and said that she would be sending out notices at the end of January, when, and she would be sending them to the city. So I don't know if... Did they ever meet, because I didn't hear no more about it, did they I ever meet it in Frankfurt for, like... Uh, I'm assuming... They have a did. board that yep. you go to and do a presentation on. Yeah, we never did get an invite through any of my emails okay. or I don't think uh, seen anything where they invited us. So with that being said, on the land and water grants, I will say this from prior dealing with those grants. It's always good to put one in play but they're almost two years back on approving mm -hmm. on projects, and sometimes until this one's complete, you won't know anything about this other one for a long time. So that's something to keep in mind as well. 
How could we move forward on fencing for Ellis Park? Yep. Um, How about the sidewalk going around Ellis Park that we talked about? Yeah, that's something I think we... I think we can have discussion with that, and we can do that in a in a special called meeting, because um, we all can't meet together. Um, but I, we can talk about that topic and focus on that to get things done, because it's it's important that we get some of these projects going before December thirty first. I got an email from oh that's a. That's a AARP community challenge grant. That's yes. separate. Yeah, I think I emailed that to maybe you, maybe I can't remember. But and that that is uh, like they do uh, they do wall arts. I mean anything that you can think of for beautification. That's one of those projects for those grants. Okay. And I and I don't think anybody in Ohio County has applied for that. So if that's something, Stacia, that you feel comfortable with, get with Meredith maybe and okay. and um, see if y'all can come up with a project. Can we go back to like the 1987 mirror down here on the wall? You remember? In well, I kind of like the idea about the old picture about the 1960s era. Yeah. Had yeah. On that it was red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. And see, from my knowledge, Tara told me that we we basically <laughs> own that wall. Yeah. So we can um, we can do whatever we want right there. I'd say go right back to that. I, I think it's awesome. So if we can find I don't somebody, think it was sixties because it was in my lifetime, and sixties uh, predates me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I don't I don't remember when it came down, but it was in the seventies too. So. <laughs> so if anybody, uh, Station Meredith, if y'all want to get together. And, I think let's get that going. Did um, you forward that to her? Do I need? To I think I, did I did I email you that? Uh, okay. Sorry. Okay, I got it safe. Let me know if you also. Know. You have your uh, city of Hartford employee handbook, Lisa, and a lot of people's worked a lot of hours on this. I think she only cussed me out maybe once. <laughs> so. Review Once these, per day. yeah, maybe. So review these, and I say we need to get this with Tara. She, yeah, she has a copy. She has a copy. Um, once everybody goes through and feels comfortable, reach out to me so we can maybe set a date for a special call meeting next month. Because um, it's very important. I don't want to. I don't want to set on this and it pass us up. So. And if y'all have any uh, questions on any of it, by all means, call me or Lisa. Preferably Lisa. <laughs> so, um, that's all I have. Um, I've got a question. Are we still having any problems with the recreational buildings and playgrounds being destroyed? I think we've got... Um, I don't think we have that much now. I will say on record that we do have cameras set up at different locations and and we're we're trying to do more of a police presence at each location and um, I haven't heard a whole lot here lately. And that's good. I hadn't heard anything so in a while. I know they they've got cameras set up where it'll go right to their phone if they see any activity. So that's good. So that's all I have. And like I said, just get with Lisa if you have any questions on the handbook. And then once everybody feels comfortable, uh, we'll try to set a date for next month for the handbook to get passed. That's all I have um, for a uh, roundtable discussion. Jeff, do you have anything? To I do. Uh, back in December, uh, whenever... Allie Marshall was here. We talked about, she brought, and uh, we talked about trying to find some additional playground for ADA acceptable and things like that. So both of us have, have looked on the website for, you know, uh, kind of like equipment that we just purchased. Mm -hmm. And there was really nothing that she felt like that would be, you know, 100% ADA use, usable. And so then we kind of switched our thinking to maybe 
adding one or two pieces of equipment because we already ordered, you know, did it, she did the fundraiser for the swing. And so she, I kind of asked her, you know, she has a handicapped uh, child and what she would think would, you know, benefit. Uh, and so these are some of the things that she picked out that, you know, she thought would make a good addition to the, to the swing. Uh, these are all through game time. Uh, if you look on the website, those are the prices. I wrote up here in the right hand corner of, of what the prices are. And these are just some ideas. Uh, just three things that you know we, we found that uh, thought would be a, a good fit for the, the expansion up there at Ellis Park. So those are just for you guys to look, see what they are. The prices are on there too. I think this would be a good purchase myself, and I think that even though it may not be totally 100% ADA, I think we would have more children that may be involved with this than what we think. We can't vote on that tonight because of a special yeah. call meeting. However, um, I will put this on the next month's agenda and we can discuss yeah. it and vote on it then. Yeah, I remember in December you asked us... Yes, ask no, I, I appreciate January, you. So I appreciate you doing that. Uh, you know, and if, we, if we're going to... If we're going to put, you know, we're, we're actually going to have to have sidewalks or something to the equipment, you know, and, and things like that for, you know, wheelchair and, and things right. like that too. So, uh, I don't know, that would be another addition, you know, maybe that... If we're, we're wanting about. to make sure that we're completely ADA compliant, maybe we need to reach out to like Wendell Foster. Um, they have sensory gardens, they mm -hmm. have playgrounds. Uh, yeah, you know, and a lot of those bigger pieces of equipment like we just purchased that are, is up there, they list those as sensory mm -hmm. play equipment, but it, if you really get to look at it, it's not, I don't mean to say it's nothing, but, you know, it's just like hand and eye, yeah. you know, type yeah. thing, and, and yeah. nothing, uh, nothing that they can actually get on mm -hmm. and be an activity other, you know. So, uh, and I, I do actually think some of the things that that we, the equipment, after digging into it and looking at the equipment that we did purchase, those are some of the sensory things that are, are up there, you know, that mm -hmm. falls into that category as well. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'll, sure. I'll make sure that we put this on the agenda for the next month's meeting. All right, thank you, Jeff, for doing that. Um, and that's one of these things that we can discuss with our R for funds, so that's that's a step in the right direction. So thank you, mm -hmm. um, David. Do you have anything? I just like what the Jared's told us at the meeting over there. Uh, you know, that, and I think we ought to get look into purchasing some property uh, on housing because we need housing here. Yeah, we are in discussion with a few yeah. homeowners here in Hartford. And we're, uh, we have to talk to PVA over there, Arthur Leach. We're going to try to sit down with some people and see if we can get some people involved where they purchase this property to put right. living houses in. Right. Um, you know, we have the senior living. Uh, we need to focus on younger generations trying to come up now, too, so that's important to us. So that's something that we're going to try to work on this year. Um, don't know how far we get, but we're going to have to try something. So thank you, David. You're Stacia, do you have anything? I don't have anything. Thank you. All right. Well, Jerry, do you have anything? Just uh, make a motion we adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man. I have a complaint against a fellow council member. <laughs> Here we go, on down the line. Wait till we get to Tony down there. <laughs> Tony, do you have anything? We still have a closing portion So that's uh, it's a very valid point. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, she has since then uh, told me yesterday um, I, I will be um, advertising for a code enforcement officer. Um, so I know that she's uh, she's been going through a lot here lately. So um, I will be advertising that pretty soon. 
So I'll, I will be setting up interviews after, um, after I guess it get, goes out into the uh, paper. So, that we up? need a big, heavy ex-marine to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I would say something, but I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> she gave her last day. She gave her last day. I don't know yeah. about a marine, but a national guard person can handle that. No, and I will say that uh, after this is done, Jeff, uh, I, I know that you can't uh, make any decisions on the code enforcement board. Um, however, I would like for you to set in that meeting um, because you have knowledge of it. Um, and then I, I, once we get this code enforcement officer hired, um, I'll, I would like them to set up a meeting and I would like to see everything revised and set up. Um, to include the fines. To include the fines as well. And then uh, we'll have to make a um, ordinance on that as well, and it had to be passed. Sure. Because I remember Tara, Tara telling me that. So, um, and I'll, I'll let you know whenever we get to that point. So, sure. Okay. Because um, it, it is an ongoing issue, and um, it's not always a good topic. But it, you know, we want people to come in our community as well. You got anything else, Tony? All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? I'll make a motion again. That we <laughs> <laughs> I second. First and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.